So today I want to talk about what our aspiring president Peter will be said about giving is a hundred million people free medical health. Okay, that's fine. But I also want to remind him that he needs to build the health system. I mean, building that people will come to our own country for medical treatment. Yeah, people are going to some African countries for medical treatment. And they get their solution and they go back home. No, nobody doubts me. Not true. You want to make a mention, please? I will mention you if you want. Or send me a message. I will send you some places. It is possible. I mean, we have intellectuals. We have brains. Our, our best, our best are moving out. Instead of them moving out, why don't you build the health system? And these people will come out with a sophisticated health system that people, even the particular country that people are running to these days for medical health, they can come to us. It is very much possible, Mr. President. I'm wishing you luck because I know that you are going to win. It's not like the other people are not going to win. They can still win, but <clears throat> as an obedient child, why I beg, build our health sector. Everybody should be included. Whatever thing you study to your level, it's not because you are a lizard that you should go home. No, if you are a lizard, there is a job for you as an Elisa in the same system. Yeah, you are a Elisa nurse or auxiliary nurse. You cannot do the job of a BSc holder. It's greedy. You know your level and what you will be doing, and you will be paid. That is how, Mr. President. That is how you should do this thing. Then look into the health, the the, the health centers in the communities. I mean, this place is this this is another place you should really really work on. You see, when we talk about prevention of uh, diseases and infirmities, when we talk about uh, uh, promoting health, it starts from the community because these are the places where uh, uh, um, you give the health talk, you educate people about their health on how they can control their uh, blood pressure or their chronic diseases. And this is a place where they go to vaccinate their children to do what? To prevent tuberculosis and all those stuff and all that. So if the, if, the, if the health centers are not functional, then the workload will be just merged on the federal level. It is going to be hectic for them. And when it's like this, and uh, the cost you already the cost of living is high, the cost of, of, of for hospitalization is high. So when those people look at it, when the, the masses, the poor people, I mean the people who live in the village area, in the urban, even in the rural areas, when they look at it, they say no, the, the, the hospitalization um payment is exorbitant is too much i don't want them to admit me i don't want them to admit me because i don't have the money to pay hospital bills and then this person stays back at home and it gets worse and this person eventually dies you see but if the health centers are functional if it is working very well a health center comprises of doctors nurses orderlies everything should be working 
Everybody must work in federal medical center. People should work in the community areas. Yeah. So if the if the if the health centers are working, people go there to check at least their blood pressure, sugar level on a, 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 a very low amount of money. As in when they look at it, it's okay. There's no need for me to travel to a federal medical um, center in Omaha or in Abakeleke. Let me um, go to the health center and check my BP control. And automatically, this person will not have the fear of going to the hospital or to the health center to check his or herself. But once the cost is high, the health centers are not functioning, these people will not make an inch. They stay at home, suffer till they die. So you need to create that structure in the hospital sector that will make people to full as a, that will push people to the health centers. You can still make money through this aspect because each time they go, they pay the car, they pay that token, they pay and then they assess health. If they need prescription, okay. If they don't need it, okay, fine. But let it be that they will be frequenting this um, health centers. If you succeed in doing this, you have reduced mortality rates because people are dying. People are suffering. They are dying. Another thing again I want you to look into is dialysis. I mean, people are paying much to do dialysis. In some countries, it is, it is free. A patient undergoing dialysis has to do it like three times in a week. If this person is to pay 60,000 Naira three times in a week, every week, every month, in every year, because the dialysis does the function of the kidney. Now, Mr. President, calculate it. You know you love figures now. Calculate how much this person must have say, must have um, a kind of uh, used for treatment in, let's say, five years. That means this person's savings, all that he or she worked for, went into the analysis. Mr. President, you have to do something. You have to do something. You cannot back out on this journey because no be you they go there. Now we, now we, now we they inside you they push you. So I want you to look into this um this people that are undergoing dialysis. You need to help them. Dialysis has to be free. Mr. President, create a dialysis center in every state. I know it is not going to be easy, but you can do this. If it is in every state, oh, I don't know how to do it. In every state, oh, I don't know. Yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Let's be positive. Free dialysis center in every state. People has to assess. Getting a new kidney is not easy. It is not easy. Kidney transplant is not easy at all. It's a whole lot of process. So, try to help those people at least. Make use of the machine. The dialysis to live Longer. I've seen people on dialysis for 10 years, more than 10 years, because their own system, their government made it possible for them to do it free. Even the drug they have to take on the cost of this procedure, they, if you depending on your level, if you cannot afford it, there is a way out that the government gives you, or there is just a way out, and those people will still take their drugs and leave. Live longer. If you see them, you will never know that they are on dialysis. And please, my people listening to this, if you know anybody having um, a kidney problem, the person should go to the hospital earlier before it damages the tube. 
the patient should start dialysis early. If the person is on acute, you don't need to stay there until it gets to chronic. Please, seek early treatment. It's just always the best. And thank you so much, guys. I hope this message gets to our able uh, Mr. President, Peter Obi. And thank you, guys. If I remember something else that's going to help our health sector, Mr. President, I'm still going to tell you. And remember, <laughs> you know, backing out. We are with you on this journey. No backing out. We did by you. We did in front of you. We did for your back. I'm telling you that this country must change for good. But my only fear is after the eight years, is the country going to continue the way you must have combed it. Please build a structure that people, that the next person entering cannot twat, cannot change, cannot manipulate. Thank you guys for watching. And I remember you, I remember you, Obungenos. And please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel with the name Obungenos. And please follow and like my page, my Facebook page. Still with the same name, Obungenos. Love you guys. Thank you.